decimals, breaking down the basics. Hello there! Today, we're diving deep into an essential topic in the world of arithmetic, decimals. If you've ever thought about how to represent fractions of whole numbers, decimals have been your friend all along. Stick around to learn all about this fascinating and crucial component of the quantitative reasoning section of the GRE. Decimals represent fractions of a whole number. They are a way to show values between two whole numbers. Think about the money you use daily. If something costs $4.50, that 50 cents, or half a dollar, is represented by the decimal point five zero. The point before the number is called a decimal point, and it helps separate the whole number from the fraction. Decimals follow a system of place values. Immediately after the decimal point, you have the tenths place. The next is the hundredths place, followed by the thousandths, and so on. For example, in the number 0.235, 2 is in the tenths place, 3 is in the hundredths place, 5 is in the thousandths place. Understanding these place values is crucial for operations involving decimals. Working with decimals is quite similar to working with whole numbers, but there are a few things to keep in mind. 1. Addition and subtraction. Ensure that the decimals are aligned. Start from the rightmost digit, or the smallest place value, and move to the left. 2. Multiplication. Multiply as you would with whole numbers. Count the total number of decimal places in both numbers you're multiplying. Then place the decimal in the product accordingly. 3. Division. Move the decimal point in the divisor to make it a whole number. Do the same shift in the dividend and then divide as you would with whole numbers. Sometimes, you might not need an exact decimal value but rather an approximate one. That's when rounding comes in handy. To round off decimals, identify the place value to which you want to round. Look at the next immediate digit to the right. If it's 5 or greater, Add 1 to your identified digit and remove all digits to its right. If it's less than 5, simply remove all digits to its right. For example, rounding 12.567 to the nearest tenth would give us 12.6. And there we have it. A quick journey through the world of decimals. Remember, like all arithmetic concepts, Practice makes perfect. So, grab some problems, start solving, and soon enough, decimals will be a piece of cake for you. Hope this video has been helpful, and happy studying.